I'm back at my little farm site again that I hunted the other day with all the unknown items. And I'm finding wire. This rang up fantastic. Got a nice chunk of lead. And then right here I just got down in the hole. A very chewed lead ball. It doesn't have a patina on it. Maybe I hit it. It's just chewed all the bits. So there's no white patina on it. It's in a little not much clay, but so I don't know. We'll keep looking though. I found lead balls out here, bullets. We'll keep keep looking. Well, I just got a nice little buckle. Not a nice little buckle, but a rusty little buckle. A little deep buckle. Horse tech, I guess. Well, on the AT Pro, this ring up all over the place. From medium iron, around 15 or so. Every once in a while, it hit around 70. Shot bullet, or chewed bullet. Maybe both. It was about, only about three inches deep. To find a drop. Got another little unknown item. Hole in the end of it. Do not know. I think this right here is what we're looking for. Pistol ball. All right. Come on into focus. There we go. Nice. Cool. Check this out. How cool is that? Awesome. And that's beautiful. Look at that green patina. Man, that's nice. That's my first skeleton key. Man, that's cool. Just a little bent. Oh, man, that thing is just gorgeous. That's cool. Thank you, Lord. A little rivet and a shot piece of lead or a piece of camp lead out of that hole. Not bad. Sure rang up good. Those rivets ring up great. Alright, I pulled it out and I put it right back in. The way it was. Look at this. Another key. So it's been a little bit more, but wow. That's broken. Darn, that's cool. That is awesome. Man, that's pretty neat. Another little brass watts it. Oops, can't even focus here. A nice full harmonica reed. Got a little groove all the way down the edge here. Oh, it's a double. Cool. That's pretty cool. Huh. All right. All right. This was pretty deep. I'm not sure. Is this an ox shoe? 
It's awfully thin if it is. Any ideas? Oh, there it is. It's a bullet. Alright, chewed up. I don't know, 58 mini? Oh, maybe it's fired. There was a skirmish all through here. That's why I started hunting this site because there was a, I knew there was a skirmish along through here, and then I started finding camp items and house items and all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Fired three ring mini ball. Good deal. That fired mini ball was right here, and then not two feet away. In this 63, 65, 53. I think that might be a bullet. It's saying eight inches deep. Let's see. Alright, this is kind of crazy. I don't know if this is... See how deep that hole is? And this was in the bottom of it. Focus, focus. Look at that little thing. I can't tell if that's coming in or not. That's a little, little tiny button. And I think there is something on it that I cannot tell for sure. Anyway, man, AT Pro is doing good today. I mean, that was deep. And I'm running in, and I've got zero discrimination, Pro Zero mode. No iron discrimination either, that's it. Or no iron audio, just wide open. That's pretty cool, that's pretty amazing. Just good soil conditions. Beautiful day. It's working right. Cool, let's see if there's more out here. Alright, this is what I've got this afternoon. Wasn't a bad couple hour hunt. Got another place to go to now. I'm gonna run through these. A couple pieces of pottery, porcelain, pottery I guess it is actually, harmonica reed parts, miscellaneous brass, chunks of lead, I think that's 69 round ball, a spoon, uh, both ends of the spoon, all I'm missing is the middle, Aha. rivet, that weird little thing, shot 58, Little pistol ball, it's dropped. That little tiny button. There's two cool keys. Unknown brass part, that nice double harmonica. Reed. <clears throat> and a buckle. Hopefully the next bottle will be as productive.